new videos every day. So I'm going to do a video on cosplay, which is dressing up like your favorite character. And one of the top uh, characters is the Japanese schoolgirl uniform. Where did that come from? And because that is a top favorite for nerds everywhere, we are also going to do where did the word nerd come from? The first word we're going to do is nerd, of course, meaning very intelligent, but socially inept. Where did that word come from? There are several different theories for how the word nerd came to be, and I'm going to go over those with you, and then I'm going to tell you which one I think is most likely. Uh, the first one comes from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, or MIT, and it comes from the word drunk backwards. Um, which is K-N-U-R-D. Now in words such as night, the K is not pronounced. So in this instance, the K wouldn't be pronounced, so it would be pronounced nerd. And this stood for um, students that were square and would rather stay in their dorm and study rather than go out and drink. So the second theory is there was a research and development company um, that was called the Northern electronic research and development and they obviously employed a lot of very intelligent scientific like people and the acronym for that would be NERD NERD and that company is now called Nortel. The third theory was there was a ventriloquist named Edgar Bergens and he had a dummy named Mortimer Snerd and some people think that the word nerd um, was a play on Mortimer Snerd, his dummy. Another theory is in the 1940s, there was a word called nert, which meant crazy person, so it came from the word nut. So one theory is that it went from nut to nert to nerd. So the final and most likely um, theory for where the word nerd came from um, is the first time it was ever seen in writing was in a Dr. Seuss book. And the line was a Nurkle, a nerd, and a sea sucker too, with the picture of a nerd. And here is the picture of Dr. Seuss's nerd. The nerd looks pretty silly. So, it, kids are reading this book entitled If I Ran the Zoo they could start making fun of each other, calling each other nerds, because the nerd did look pretty funny in the picture. And that could be one explanation for the word nerd. So regardless of where the word nerd came from, it was actually popularized in the 1970s by a TV show known as Happy Days, where they used the word nerd constantly. So now on to the schoolgirl costumes. Where did the Japanese schoolgirl costumes come from? In Japan, um, school uniforms have been required since the early 1900s, regardless of whether you're in private school or public school. So this is including men and women and high schools, and even in some women's colleges in Japan, um, school uniforms are still a requirement. Both men and women uniforms are actually based off of military uniforms. The male school uniforms are based off of the Prussian military uniforms, and the women's school uniforms are based off of sailor uniforms for Great Britain from the 1920s. So one principal of a university um, at one point was a foreign exchange student in Great Britain and saw the sailor uh, uniforms then. So when he came back and he was the principal of the university, he modeled the school uniforms off of what he had seen previously. And that was in 1921 and they've stuck ever since. Female students will, will change their uniforms just a little bit to rebel against the school uniform code by shortening their skirt, um, untying their tie, or wearing loose fitted socks which are actually American mountaineering socks. So that was the origin of the word nerd and of the Japanese schoolgirl costume. 
and I will be doing more videos on cosplay, which is dressing up in costume. Um, do leave comments. Um, you're welcome to leave requests if there's any origins of the words you'd like to know. But that's it for now. If you liked this video, we have hundreds of more alternative videos ranging from sexual health to psychology to mind control. So if you liked it, go ahead and click on me to enter the Psyche Truth channel.